man-made robots are now performing each and every task. But as far as surgery is concerned in India, robotic surgery is very costly. Now we have Dr. Sudhish Srivastava with us who has designed a robot called as SSI Mintra robot which is the cheapest robot and which will perform the cheapest affordable robotic surgery in the country India. Dr. Sudhir, first of all, tell us that what kind of robot you have designed and what is its speciality? Yeah, so this one is a multi-arm mantra system and uh, this has up to five arms, so we can use five arms. Uh, and uh, one of the differentiating features of this particular robot that each arm is placed on a separate cart. So we can place them wherever uh, based on the surgery. Secondly, we can add more arms if necessary based on the procedure. And uh, so the way the robotic arm and the principle works is that the surgeon sits on the surgeon command center. So it is literally a remote operation. And through a series of computers and the signals coming into these robotic arms, and they go into the instruments. And so in the patient's body, a camera goes, which acts as a human eye. And this is a very specialized 3D high definition camera. So it gives a beautiful magnified view. Then these instruments uh, are placed in through literally uh, uh, fingertip size incisions. Mm -hmm. So the, one of the biggest advantage that we can do very complex operations utilizing this system. What kind of operations can be performed? Yeah. What kind of surgeries can this robotic surgeon do? Most operations can be done uh, in abdomen, in chest, in head and neck. So literally except the neurosurgery today and orthopedics, uh, uh, this particular robot can perform almost 80% of most of these operations. And how many teams are required to perform? Uh, generally, of course, surgeon sits on the surgeon council, and then you need two assistants here by the table side who actually change the instruments and bring the supplies in. So it's a small team, and uh, the biggest advantage is that these complex operations can be done through tiny incisions. So one does not have long incisions, and so they recover very fast. There are less complications. There is less use of blood. And these people recover much faster in the hospital as well as when they go home. So people can be back doing their normal stuff within a win one week to two weeks time frame. How affordable it is? Yeah, so our, uh, the cost, extra cost because of the technology for the patient will be somewhere between 30 to 50,000 rupees only in India, and which is very close to the laparoscopic surgery. But the benefits of this, shorter hospital stay, so the costs go down there. Then you don't have complications, so you don't spend money. Families don't have to rearrange their lifestyles right. during the recovery. So when you look at even this small cost, uh, it has got huge benefits, not only at the time of surgery or home, but also ultimately to the system. But when it will be available in the market for the patients and uh, the hospital buyers as well? Yeah, so we are hoping to launch this thing in later part of March or first part of April. It should be available in the hospital. We already have validated uh, the system in the past with a clinical trial, and we will do another short clinical trial sh uh, soon this month, and then it will be available in the hospital. Quickly and briefly, if you could explain me the mechanism, complete mechanism of this, ro of this robotic yeah. system. So if we come here first uh, to the surgeon command center, yeah. So this is where the camera that we uh, talked about earlier. So the camera 3D view is here. So this is the LED screen. This is the large uh, uh, screen which gives the 3D images. So we have to wear uh, what we call the passive glasses, just like when you watch 3D right. movies. So you wear glasses. So this way you have a beautiful magnified high definition view. Then we have these hand controls and the foot, foot controls. And so surgeon sitting between the hand controls and foot controls, we are controlling that entire system. Okay. And, and it is also very safe in the sense that if I am not operating, so robot does not do anything on its own. So sometimes people say, I don't want machine operating on me. So it's in such a surgeon is operating. This happens to be a tool to do complex operation in a less invasive way. And you told that it's not necessary for a surgeon to be there where the patient is. Yeah, so it is since it's a remote operation or a tele-operation, so I can literally sit in Delhi and operate on patients in Bombay or in small peripheral villages or small towns. And so through high-speed connectivity or 5G as it comes, we can literally take this technology to very many places actually and offer right. the people they don't have to travel. And it's completely based on the concept of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Yeah, I think so. First, it is made in India. It is done by the team in India. Uh, almost all parts are manufactured and assembled here. And 
we, I truly believe that I think India has a great opportunity to develop these technologies. So truly it is a made in India product for the world in an affordable price and it will help us achieve Atmanirbharta. So definitely it's a good initiative because it is based on the concept of make in India, made in India and now it will be interesting to see that how fast it could cure the patient and it would be prove and it would prove to be very beneficial for them. With camera person Abhishek, this is Tejri Purandar reporting for India Today from Delhi.